Now, this uh, problem, uh, this is different from our previous um, examples kasi dito dalawang materials na yung involved and then attach and they're attached to each other but uh, still we have a we have two rigid walls at uh, both sides now so ito ay completely um, restricted pa rin so expect na meron pa rin tayong uh, thermal stresses dito no? so uh, given tayo ng mga properties ng uh, each material no? for aluminum and steel so uh, for aluminum we have the ito na values for modulus of elasticity and the alpha for the thermal uh, expansion coefficient and this is uh, the values for steel so meron tayong length given you have 10 inches and 15 inches and then you have the cross-sectional areas for both uh, aluminum and steel uh, respectively no? so our uh, requirement for this uh, particular problem is to find the stresses at this uh, steel and aluminum if we have a change in temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So, dito hindi binigay yung uh, T1 at T2 but uh, in-specify lang na meron tayong increase in temperature kasi positive, no? So, increase in temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, by the way, for this problem, uh, we are ne uh, neglecting the effect of buckling. No? So, bali, ang focus natin dito ay expansion lang ng mga members at hindi natin uh, i-consider yung pag-fail or pag-buckle ng dalawang Material. So, ano bang nangyayari dito? No? So, if we increase the temperature uh, by a 100, uh, 100 degree uh, Fahrenheit, ang mangyayari dito, yung aluminum, since uh, positive nga yung increase, mag increase siya ng, mag expand siya ng length. No? Kasi, expansion, mangyayari. So, at the same time, still din natin, meron din siyang expansion of length na mangyayari. Kasi, Kasi nga, nag increase yung temperature. So, since ditong, uh, itong mga walls natin ay hindi naman gagalaw, so, ibig sabihin, magtutulakan yung aluminum natin at saka yung steel. So, merong mangyayaring deformation due to temperature. Yan, for uh, steel. Ano, for aluminum. This is uh, aluminum na deformation. At meron ding mangyayaring deformation due to temperature sa steel. At habang nangyayari yung expansion for uh, both materials, meron ding uh, corresponding stresses. Kasi itong aluminum, ipupush nyo yung steel. At saka yung steel naman, ipupush nyo yung uh, aluminum. So, ang mangyayari dito, uh, meron tayong uh, deformation na caused by your thermal stresses, corresponding thermal stresses, and meron tayong deformation caused by your temperature. So, meron tayong uh, deformation caused by your temperature. And then we have the deformation caused by your stresses or yung P or yung compressive forces from steel and aluminum na pushing each other. So we have deformation um, due to temperature from aluminum plus deformation steel. Lagyan lang natin ang T dito no? just to denote that this is from temperature. And we also have deformation aluminum plus deformation steel na dulot ng yung compressive na forces. So, ito na yung magiging working equation natin to solve this uh, particular problem. Bali uh, dito, uh, ito yung again yung uh, working equation natin to solve this uh, problem. Again, equal yung deformation na caused by your uh, thermal uh, change in temperature at yung uh, corresponding uh, thermal stresses. Kasi nga, hindi naman gumalaw yung wall natin. So, ibig sabihin, i-shoulder lang nila equally yung uh, change in uh, length or expansion spe uh, specifically. So, bali dito, i-evaluate uh, lang natin na... Uh, Isa-isa muna no, yung given natin para hindi masyadong mahaba yung equation natin mamaya. So, evaluate natin first yung uh, thermal uh, deformation ng steel at aluminum since given naman lahat ng parameters natin. 
you have a lot no so again no para mas mabilis na ma ano ma remember so thermal deformation is just a lot no so alpha l delta t so then given na uh, data no for both uh, steel and aluminum so alpha l and delta t so ito yung values na ngayon for uh, thermal deformation for both uh, steel and then you have aluminum in inches kasi ito degrees fahrenheit lang ito ay naka inches ito naman ay degrees uh, fahrenheit makaka-cancel dito sa so papakita lang natin no? so ito ay naka degrees sa uh, fahrenheit per degrees fahrenheit ito naman ay naka inches ito naman ay naka degrees fahrenheit so makaka-cancel yan so matitira nating unit ay inch Ngayon meron na tayong values for uh, deformation sa subject na natin. So we will have um, aluminum is uh, 0.0128. Ang stresses natin is uh, PL over A in. With PL over A E this is aluminum plus we have PL over A E this is for steel bale ang mangyayari dito pareho sila ng P no? equivalent lang yung force sa pagtutulokan nilang dalawa parehong force lang na experience nila pero iba magkaiba yung stress magkaiba yung stress kasi magkaiba yung cross sectional area ng aluminum tsaka steel pero yung force na na experience nila ng compressive force ay pareho lang Substitute lang natin yung mga values no, for aluminum and then you have steel. So we have length for aluminum is uh, 10, cross-sectional area, and then you have the modulus of elasticity E. And same goes with uh, steel, 15 inches na length. This is the cross-sectional area na 1.5, so mas malaki yung aluminum. Then you have the modulus of elasticity for steel, which is uh, 29 times 10 to the 6. Uh, yung units natin, ito naka-PSI, for example, ito naman naka inch square so makakancel yung inch square dito tsaka yung inch square dito no? so yung inch naman nito makakancel sa inch dito so anyway susulat na lang natin ito may inch tayo dito ito naman sa taas meron tayong inch sa baba meron tayong inch square tapos meron tayong pounds per and inch square kasi PSI so magkakancel to cancel we have cancel so matitira is pounds na lang so yung resulting P natin is in pounds so, pare lang, pare lang to at saka ito, no? So, pag-add natin, pare lang yan. Twenty six six nine one pounds. Tayo na twenty six six nine one pounds. P equals twenty six six nine one point eighty four pounds. So the equation for stress natin is a uh, stress is equal to P A P over A. Therefore, for steel, you have steel. So meron tayong P na twenty six. Divided by yung area ng steel natin is uh, 1.5 steel. So, divided by 1.5, you will have 17, 794, or gagawin na lang natin ano ito, no? 17.8 um, KSI. So, same process uh, we will get from for aluminum. Meron tayong uh, 26,691. 0.84 divided by 2 You will have 13 345.92 or 13.34 KSI 0.34 KSI So, yun na yung values natin for stresses in steel and for aluminum So, 
Yun, so medyo madali lang naman, no? Uh, basta, basta magaling na tayo mag-imagine or kung ano man. So, 